These sounds are coming from Gobastan, Azerbaijan, where primitive man is composing his first songs under the melody of the holy rhymes that will be called notes by future musicians. Azerbaijan becomes the beginning of the world music civilization, the dwelling of the primitive human. There is a flower in the world with a special beauty. This fantastic and wonderful flower doesn't grow anywhere except Karabakh. This wonder and mystery of nature is called the Kari Bobu. We are going to tell you about the homeland of the flower, Kari Bobu. The region is mountainous and situated in the Karabagh mountain range. Boyuk Kirs is the highest peak at 2,725 meters height. Sherlan and Turshu, mineral springs, are also in this territory. With 450 hectares, the Shalti State Nature Reserve, created in 1988, is also located in this region. From ancient times up to today, this city has attracted historians and tourists of the world as a center of culture and recreation. In 1747, the Iranian ruler, Nadir Shah, was killed in Khorasan. His death caused a weakening of the empire. Nearly 20 Khanates were established in the territory of the Safavid state. Karabagh Khanate was one of the largest according to its territory. This Khanate was founded by Pana Ali Khan. The foundation of a new fortress was laid in the most picturesque area of Karabagh, at the top of the highest mountain in 1750. Pana Ali Khan invited the most popular masters and builders from Tabriz, Odabil, and other cities to participate in the building of his new fortress. The northern and eastern parts of the fortress were surrounded by high walls. The fortress had two strong gates called Irvan and Ganja. The local people called this newly built city Panahabad in honor of Pana Ali Khan. The city of Panahabad was situated among the rocky mountains called over the centuries Gala, Shishe, and known today as Shusha. Over the years, Muhammad Hassan Khan Gajar, Fatali Khan Afshar, Aga Muhammad Shah Gajar all attacked the fortress several times but couldn't occupy it, their attempts ending in failure. Through the centuries, this city has become one of the most important political and cultural centers of Azerbaijan and its story 
is an inseparable part of the history of Azerbaijan. During the rule of Panna Khan, the city of Panna Habad became the main trade center of the region. According to information given by a visitor who was in Shusha at the end of the 18th century, there were about 2,000 homes and more than 10,000 people living there. The streets of Shusha were a bit larger and the roofs of the homes were not flat but of a different shape and design from other Muslim city streets of the period. After Panna Khan's death, his son, Ibrahim Khalil Khan, ruled Karabagh from 1760 to 1806. During this time, the Karabagh Khanate became even more powerful and influential. After signing the Treaty of Turkmenshai with the Gajars in 1828 and the Erdirne Treaty with the Ottoman Turkey, in 1829, Tsarist Russia completed its occupation of the South Caucasus and then decided to use the Armenians as a tool for strengthening their position there. According to the treaties mentioned above, the Armenians living in Iran and Ottoman Turkey gradually migrated to settle in the historical territories of Azerbaijan, most notably in Karabakh, Yerevan, and Joitse. The Russian researcher of Caucasian studies, Shavrov, noted that out of 1.3 million Armenians living in the South Caucasus in the 20th century, only 300,000 moved to this region. During the rule of Russia, Shusha became the administrative and economic center of the whole Caucasus and developed greatly. Tsarist Russia's expansionist policies affected both the administrative status and demographic situation of Shusha. After the liquidation of the Karabagh Khanate, the city became the center of the newly established Karabagh province and Shusha district was formed in 1840. During the Soviet era, the administrative status of Shusha underwent changes several times. In 1921, for instance, Shusha was designated as the center of the newly established Nagorny Karabakh Autonomous Region. However, in 1923, this decision was revoked at the instigation and persistence of Armenian Bolsheviks in the Kremlin and Kankinde was selected as the center of the region. Thus, Shusha was deprived of its status as the center of Karabakh after 170 years. There were 300 historical monuments, 550 ancient buildings, fortress walls measuring 870 meters in length, inside a 350 hectare area in Shusha. 23 of these historical monuments were recognized as being of national and world importance, most of them dating from the 18th and 19th centuries. The natural springs in Shusha are especially remarkable from an architectural point of view. Khan Gazai Balaghi Spring, built by Kurshudbani Natavan in 1873, has 12 stone fountains, measuring 15 meters in length and 4 meters in height. Tursu Pastures, Sakili Bulagi, Isa Bulagi, Shamalin Bulagi, and legendary Jadir Duzu used to be favorite resting places for both locals and visitors. Tursu is known as a recreation and resort center. It is situated 40 kilometers distant from Shusha on the main roadway of Lachin. On the left, there is the Dashalti River. Tursu is famous for its mineral and medicinal baths. There are 17 estates in Shusha. Each estate has its own mosque, bathhouse, and caravan Sarah. Despite the colonial policy of Tsarism, in the middle of the 19th century, the Azeri people would find an opportunity to use both Western European and Russian culture in the development of the region. 
scientific and literary activity in Karabakh, especially in Shusha, was extended. Firudun Bey Kosherli, the great writer and literary critic of Azerbaijan, was inspired by the beauty of Shusha and called it the Shiraz of the Southern Caucasus. For the first time in the history of the Azerbaijan people, there were established theaters, circus performances, European and Eastern concerts, scientific, educational, musical, and artistic assemblies, libraries, printing houses, vocational schools, a seminary, several other cultural educational enterprises, all were established in Shusha. Since the middle of the 19th century, the different branches of art continued to develop in Shusha. Local amateur theaters showed performances and presentations from different genres around the world. The number of theater performances increased after the construction of a new theater building by Kanadimirov, one of the rich inhabitants of Shusha in the spring of 1891. Elsewhere in Azerbaijan, people came to Shusha in the summer to escape the heat and because Shusha was the recreational center of the area. Even the young people studying in Moscow, St. Petersburg, Warsaw, Vienna, Berlin and Paris returned to their hometown to spend their summer holidays and enjoy the recreational activities of Shusha. The local amateurs performed not only the works of the Azerbaijan writers, but also the great plays of Europe and Russian classics. It is not accidental that for the first time in Kapal Kossus, Othello by the great William Shakespeare was staged in Shusha. For the first time, Othello was staged in the Azeri language on September 1st, 1904 at Kanadamarov Theater. The profession of Kaninde a form of folk singer, was developed in Karabakh, particularly in Shusha, rather than other regions of Azerbaijan. This was related to the geographical position as well as the widely cultural-economic relations of the city. Vinogradov, the prominent musician who was closely acquainted with the history of Azerbaijan music, wrote about the music history of Shusha and the role of Shusha's musicians in this region. Shusha musicians have laid the foundation of the history of Azerbaijan's music and but also early represented it in many other eastern countries. Related to the development of the Kaninde profession, there were several music schools, halls, circles, and artistic assemblies in Shusha. The founders of the music schools in Shusha were Karat Gulu and Mola Ibrahim. Professor Bulbul stated that students between the ages of 13 and 14 took lessons at Mola Ibrahim's, but after the age of 14 moved to classes at Karat Gulu's school. Karat Gulu Muhammad Uglu was the distinguished musician of his time. Haji Husu, Mashadi Isi, Sadi Jan, Abdul Bagi Zulalov, Jabar Gare Agde Uglu, Kechachi Uglu Muhammad, all of these men occupied a prominent place in the vocal music of Azerbaijan. After Karat Galu's death, the Musicians' Assembly was established by Mir Mursun Navab, the most prominent scientist and musician of the time. Aesthetic problems of the music profession were discussed in those circles and assemblies with great attention given to the masterly performances of Kaninde's singers. Shusha, known as the Conservatory of Kaukasus, developed a number of talented and world-famous musicians. We note the names of the following popular and distinguished musicians of the time. Jabar Gare Agde Oglu, Said Shushinsky, Zulfu Adigozevo, Khan Shushinsky, Bobul, and Rashid Babudov. Prominent and world-renowned opera composer, Uzer Hajibayov was the first in the East. Ben, bu saat bitirelim. 
bizim galabeni bir opera şeklinde. Today, my great wish is to write an opera dealing with our victory. We can also mention the names Maestro Niazi, Fikret Amarov, Afrasiyab Badabeli, Vasiv Adigazelov, Suleiman Alessyarov, famous Tarzan, Gurban Piramov, all were among the other great masters whose fame crossed the borders. The first concert in the East was held in the summer of 1901 in Shusha, Azerbaijan. In the first half of the 19th century, science and education were also being developed in Shusha, side by side with theater and music. There were many Russian schools in the region as well. A district school named Uyezny Ushilish was opened in Shusha on December 30th, 1830. The seminary was opened in 1838. Gorodskoy Uchilish, Nachalnya Uchilish were both started in 1876. A six-class Realni Uchilish was started in 1880 and her school in 1886 followed. That school was engaged in student preparation for both Realni and city schools. Many well-educated and highly cultured teachers who graduated from the universities, gymnasia, and institutes of Gorky, Kharkov, Moscow, St. Petersburg, Berlin, and Paris were invited to teach at these schools. It was not an accident that most of the scientists, cultural, and artistic workers of Russia and Azerbaijan got their education at the Realny Uchilish of Shusha. The first city library was established in Shusha in 1897. At the beginning of the 20th century, Shusha was both a cultural and scientific, as well as resort center for Azerbaijan. Visitors were amazed by the songs heard everywhere throughout Shusha. That's why Shusha was called the Conservatory of the Caucasus. We can safely say that there are no places in the world that have raised so many talented musicians as Shusha. Much as the Italian vocal school occupies a prominent place in the history of European music, the Shusha vocal school occupies the same position in the history of Eastern music. There were times when Shusha was even called the Italy of the Caucasus. Historical parts of Shusha were declared to be historical architectural preserves according to the order of the Soviet Ministry of Azerbaijan in 1977. The only Eastern musical instruments manufactured in Azerbaijan were built in Shusha, which produced tar, kamancha, oud, nagara, and other fine instruments of the time period. Shusha was occupied by the Armenians on May 8, 1992.
According to accounts, during the occupation of Shusha, Armenian vandals destroyed many of our historical monuments. The region consists of one city center, one settlement, and 37 villages. The Shusha State Drama Theater, Shusha Television, the State Karabag History and Shusha City History Museums, Memorial Museums for Hajibayov, Bubul, and Mir Mufsun Navab, the Shusha City Branch of the Azerbaijan State Carpet Museum, the State Art Gallery, four technical schools and colleges, branches of two institutes, 25 secondary schools, several music schools and colleges, eight cultural houses, 17 clubs, 31 libraries, 40 medical enterprises, two resort centers, a children's sanatorium, a children's health center, a tourist camp, a hotel, and several public catering establishments. Armenian armed forces plundered 15 ethnographic displays, five copper artifacts, two silver daggers, a stone pot, 20 jeweled decorations, and many other valuable items from the Shusha City Museum, five valuable ancient carpets, four ancient kalims, five saddlebags, one rare and valuable lamp, Luzier Hajibayov's portrait, and a number of other valuable historical exhibits from the Karabag History Museum. Precious and valuable exhibits from the Shusha City Museum, including paintings, statues, carpets, folk art samples, archaeological discoveries, important and valuable documents, the belongings of great Azerbaijan persons, and many other precious materials have all been plundered by Armenian invaders. Altogether, roughly 5,000 different exhibits have been plundered. Now, those exhibits are being sold at auction or are being shown in different exhibitions and museums as samples of Armenian culture. Yes, at the end of the 20th century, Shusha was faced with unbelievable tragic events and was occupied. Citizens were driven out of their native lands or became martyrs. But the enemy hasn't been able to destroy Shusha. Shusha survives. Its population has spread to 700 settlements in 59 regions of Azerbaijan. It should be noted that although Shusha is still under occupation, there have been several existing cultural and educational institutions that continue their activities in the city of Baku and other regions of our great country. world community that hasn't become indifferent to the destroying of historical Buddha monuments will support Azerbaijani people and their voice of truth. <laughs>